feeding time in the tank. Watch budding entrepreneurs pitch their ideas to business leaders. Catch Shark Tank South Africa on... Africa is on fire! Good day everybody, it's Dave Rampersad here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for all the first time first time viewers, please don't forget to subscribe. What are you waiting for? Uh, I hope everybody's doing well, despite the current financial state of the RAND. Um, I'm pretty much having quite a packed day on, on this side. Um, I've had a um, meeting with quite a prominent shopping center shopping mall um, in the region who has currently been having a lot of issues with regards to theft at their at their vicinity so we've had um, I guess it was possibly four five vehicles that were stolen in the last three months um, three months span so I've actually offered my services to them as a security consultant to kind of um, see where they are lacking uh, where's the weak point and mitigate that issue obviously and yeah, from there, pretty much had a busy day, a two hour meeting with a lawyer, it's a bit of um, legal issues I needed to attend to. And now I'm off to meet with Manus Brudvig. He is actually um, a serial entrepreneur, um, quite a prominent and actually famous entrepreneur in, in, in South Africa. He is one of the judges on Shark Tank. And really look forward to meeting with him tonight and you know sharing some insights with you guys uh, for all the entrepreneurs or tech entrepreneurs out there. So yeah, here we go. To get into the mind of a shark, you have to think like a shark. Be the shark. Sharks are always on the hunt. They'll play games with you. They'll circle around you and try to outsmart you. To win them over, You'll have to have a killer instinct and a nose for business. If you're not smart, they will tear you to shreds in seconds. It's feeding time in the tank. Watch budding entrepreneurs pitch their ideas to business leaders. Catch Shark Tank South Africa on M. I'm honest. I'm Dave Rampersad. No, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm Why do you <laughs> look like an accountant? <laughs> uh, you got to always be closing. Right? Are you a banker? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm in the media marketing. Uh, media marketing. Edit that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's basically a vlog called the Dave Rampersad Show. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. I mean, the Great businesses you. that you built and the empire that you're sitting on. And I mean, the achievement of um, being on Shark Tank and being the youngest shark there, you know, it's really a, a, a powerful achievement. And um, could you give a little token or a little gem to all the young entrepreneurs out there? Yeah, I think if you're an aspiring or young entrepreneur, you need to work really, really, really hard. And we need to get rid of this expectation that other people are going to do it for us. Put do it I need work. to look there or do I look at you? Oh, I look you there. Both, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's this, this very bad habit that we're just expecting everything from everyone else. We're expecting it from government, from other people. And you need to put in the work and you need to make it work. Brilliant. Thank you so much. It's really inspiring. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you. Welcome to Young Money. I'm Nozi Pombanjo. Welcome to our new format where we're bringing you two heavy hitting entrepreneurs who are going to be sharing their entrepreneurial journeys with us. We start off our conversation with the chief executive of Bean Counter. His name is Manus Brotreik, and you've probably seen him on Shark Tank as well. He's one of South Africa's sharks, but a young man who is dedicated to supporting emerging entrepreneurs in South Africa. After the, after the break, let's go meet Manus. So one of the things that always comes up when somebody uh, Googles you, Manus, is that you are a self-made millionaire at the tender age of 24. How did that happen? It's funny, I always Google myself when I see that coming up, that and serial entrepreneurs. Yeah. So how true that is, I don't know. Um, so I started my career very young. I did my articles straight out of school. I studied BCom Accounting through UNISA, I worked full-time, studied at night. 
So when I was 22, I was done with my degree and, and articles and everything, and I started my first real big business at the age of 22. It went really well, and two years later, we had a great company. So you started off at 22, and over the years, you have been instrumental in building and launching many other multi-million rand uh, companies. So maybe there's a bit of truth in the serial entrepreneur space, but what, what drives you? What do you look for in business opportunities? Yeah, I think it's interesting in, in my initial career, and I think it's one of the biggest mistakes that I've made. Um, as an entrepreneur, you wake up in the morning and you just see everything as opportunities. You get stuck in traffic and you want to solve traffic and you start a business. <laughs> yeah. But I think that was actually a mistake, trying to, to pursue too many opportunities at the same, at mm -hmm. the same time. And I, really, I realized later in my career that it's all about focus. So it, now what I'm looking for is I'm focusing on one business, one core business, and I believe you can grow one big company at a time and not many. When was that tipping point? Uh, when did that realization happen? What happened to sort of switch on the light and say, actually, I've been approaching this the wrong way? For, for, for many years, I've started my own businesses, but I've also helped other entrepreneurs mm. because we run an accounting firm. Many businesses come right. through our doors and they ask for assistance and sometimes it's finance as well. And we used to help with that. Um, and I also started my own businesses, but I realized I can build 10 average businesses, still making money, but they're not going to be big, massive businesses. Mm. And it probably happened about two years ago. And then I've started to put my focus all into one business. Click the link below and subscribe. What are you waiting for? To keep up to date with our latest posts. So each time we upload a new video, you'll get a little email to say, check out this video where you can basically watch our new trends and technologies as they are released. Thank you. Africa is on fire! Where you cool the channel? Put it in the palm, baby.